John Herdman, and before we talk footy, we're looking at his feet. We look at his feet. I love a man who comes <laughs> nice and casual. Uh, we love it here at Breakfast Television. Oh, You're rocking oh, yeah, my, Look at this. This is terrible. You know what? You look, my feet are on TV. What right? are you doing? Tanned and relaxed. Well, oh, we man. go way back now. Yeah, we do. Because I saw you just when you started with the Canadian Women's National Team at the Olympic qualifier yeah. here, and I remember that eye of the tiger that you brought to this team. You're like, losing is not an option. <laughs> we are going to go and we are going to do our best and win yeah. and that's your yeah. focus and goal for next year's World Cup. Tell us about it. Yeah, you've seen the grey hair since as well. You eh? look fabulous. You're getting old, aren't you? Uh, you and me yeah. both, my friend. Yeah, look, we've got a, an amazing opportunity and very rare it is the biggest event in women's sport come to your country. And you imagine that as a motivational tool for a group of players. It's a bit of a curse and an opportunity, and you've got to keep selling it as an opportunity and, and recognizing that, look, it's a once in a lifetime thing. So we get one chance, we've got to make it happen. Speaking of selling it, we uh, do need to alert everybody. Tickets going on sale. We'll put up the information both here in the interview and on our website. Uh, June 6th to July the 5th, 2015, not only happening here, but Edmonton, Winnipeg, Ottawa, Montreal, Moncton. This is a true Canadian opportunity for the Canadian women's national team. There's a little bit extra in it, just like the CONCACAF Olympic qualifier when it's played here. Well, look, it's my hometown. It's hometown for a lot of the girls. But look, I think it's just a fantastic chance for the whole country to get involved in one moment. So even if you can't follow the team and be there, you can be part of it somewhere else. And I think that's the uniqueness of this sort of six-city tournament. It's the first of its kind in the FIFA's uh, World Cups. First flavor, October 28th here. Uh, how do you prep the girls for a friendly versus Japan? Well, they're the current World Cup champions, so... For us, it's a test now. We, we're getting closer to the Women's World Cup and we don't really have many games left. So we have to put it all out there. It's a time where we will be judged now and we have to start really stepping up to the plate. So the girls are coming in in October. We've, we're going to hit them physically. They're going to put a big foundation phase in and then closer to the World Cup, we'll start gelling the team tactically. So they've got a big eight months ahead of them. For those who don't know, all the girls, are with their club teams playing very hard where they're at, but they have to come back, as you say, and gel once again. That's right. Uh, some of them are on holiday and now they're, they've had a little bit of a break and right. we've just given them a chance to clear their heads and, and then focus in. I mean, look, they'll be together for literally eight months. And I'm not saying that it's going to be like a prison camp, but... A uh, little bit, a little bit like a prison camp. John Herdman prison, <laughs> yeah. prison is fun. John Herdman prison is fun as long as they are getting the results. Now, what about December, is it 6th? That's the next big date for you, the draw. Yeah, that's the draw. That's the draw. Uh, look, draws will, uh, you never know what you're going to get from them. And whatever happens, we want to win our group mm -hmm. because it means we come to BC Place and we stay on the West. That's not what we don't like the East. It's just we don't want to do all the traveling if we can help it from a performance point of view. So. If we get a good draw, it gives us a chance to come to Vancouver in the knockout games, and that's that's going to be big for a lot of these players. That's key. Again, it's the FIFA Women's World Cup of Soccer 2015, June 6th to July the 5th. You can you can purchase tickets, get involved, get behind these ladies. The tickets are not expensive when you consider. Yeah. Turf wars. I know we've only got a few seconds left here, but the turf wars. There's a lot of controversy about. There's artificial turf at BC Place, and Abby Wambach, big U.S. player, going, ah, it's just the worst thing ever. Look, everyone's getting involved, and it's great. It's great profile for the women's game. You know, Tom Hanks is out there on Twitter. What's and, Tom Hanks talking about? Well, look, I'd love to see him at a game. You know, maybe put some of his fortune into back in women's football. You know, that would be uh, a big challenge out to Tom. But no, it'd be lovely to see uh, to see the whole world here just enjoying the tournament for what it is, whether it's turf or grass, as long as there's two goals at one end, each end of the pitch, I'm happy. Everybody's playing on the same field. John Herdman from the Canadian Women's National Team, please come back often Cheers, and update us. Thank you so much. We love our footy and we love our John. 8.55, we're back in a moment here on Breakfast Television. And I love the flip-flops, because really, I'm going to kill the flip-flops.